Well, good morning to everyone. On behalf of the USC Viterbi School of Engineering, I am pleased to welcome everyone, our graduates, their parents, families, and friends to our 87th annual engineering commencement ceremony. Before we get started, let me introduce my colleagues on the platform. And I will start with USC trustee Mitchell Lu, whose nephew is graduating today. I would like to introduce the rest of the members of the platform, and please keep your applause until everyone has been introduced. Dr. Paul Rosenblum, the Engineering Faculty Council President and Professor of Computer Science. Dr. Jeff Spedding, please remain standing, Chair, Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Dan Erwin, Chair of Air Astronautical Engineering. <laughs> Dr. Jean-Michel Marek, representing the Biomedical Engineering Department. <laughs> Dr. Rich Robert, Chair of the Morg Family Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science. <laughs> Dr. Lucio Soibelman, Chair of the Sonia Stani Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Dr. Gaurav Sukatmi, Chair of Computer Science. Dr. Sandeep Gupta, Chair of the Ming Department of Electrical Engineering Systems. <laughs> Dr. Yoon Sok Kim, Chair of the Ming Department of Electrical Engineering Electrophysics. And Dr. Julie Heigl, Chair of the Daniel J. Epstein Industrial and Systems Engineering. Also, we have with us Sam Kushner Lenoff, our valedictorian, and our commencement speaker, Mike Abbott. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. You can be seated. We also have with us today Louise Yates, Senior Associate Dean of Admissions and Student Affairs, and Professor Larry Redekop of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering, who will be announcing the graduates. And our flag bearers who disappeared, and they're back there, are Christina Milanes from Electrical Engineering and Lisa Aruda, Chemical Engineering, carrying the heraldic flag. We have very much to celebrate today, which is the outstanding accomplishments of our graduates. They have endur endured countless tests, impossible homework, mind-twisting assignments, all in a vanishingly small time interval. They have successfully completed the most rigorous, demanding, and rewarding program in undergraduate education at one of the nation's best schools of engineering. So warmest congratulations to all. I want especially to welcome my friends, all of you parents, whose love, guidance, and commitment help produce this impressive class of tomorrow's leaders. As parents, and as educators, and as mentors, we see graduation from college as the last step in launching our students into the real world. In many ways, our feelings and emotions are very similar to when a child is born. Pride, hope, expectations, confidence, anticipation. Our feelings this year are even stronger because this graduating class is the best so far, the best educated, the most representative in our history. 30% of our graduates today here are women. They represent the changing face of engineering for the better. Legendary aerospace engineer and mathematician Theodore von Karman said several decades ago, scientists discover the world that exists, engineers create the world that never was. Creating the world that never was today, thanks to engineering and technology, our world is being recreated and reimagined like never before with an astonishing speed at an exponential pace in front of our very eyes and its engineers and visionaries like our graduates 
that will drive and continue driving this reimagination. It will be our graduates who will help solve the big challenges of our time, whether making solar energy economical, securing cyberspace, engineering better medicines, providing access to clean water, addressing vexing climate change issues, or eliminating poverty. It will be them who will build new and innovative technologies that we cannot even imagine. This giant leap forward will fuel our economy in this nation and the world, creating new jobs, industries, and advances the collective well-being. I am sure that our graduates will literally change the world to create the world that never was for the benefit of the humanity. So the future is theirs. Thank you and warmest congratulations. At this time, I would like to recognize the students who have earned special awards and honors. Please stand as your names are called and remain standing until all have been introduced. And please, the audience, hold your applause until we can recognize all the students as a group. University Trustee Award, Harrison Lee, Biomedical Engineering. Jason Silverman, Astronautical Engineering. <laughs> USC Renaissance Scholars Prize winner, David Zhang, Computer Science with minor in Linguistics. USC Discovery Scholar Prize winner, Christopher Sandino of Electrical Engineering. National Academy of Engineering, Grand Challenges Scholars. Uh, scholars. Renuka Fernandez, Jocelyn Yip, Matthew Louis, Colleen O'Brien, Lisa Aruda, Dinesh Simakurdi, Stephanie Fong, Michael Predom, Yekaterina Glasgow, and Alina Byrne. The Archimedes Circle Award for Outstanding Achievement in Scholarship, Sam Kushner Lenoff, Electrical Engineering with Minor in Math. The Albert Dorman Future Leaders Award, recognizing leadership in academics, Lisa Aruda, chemical engineering minor in art history. The Viterbi Award for outstanding achievement in leadership, Megan Riske, biomedical engineering. The Alumni Advisory Board Award for outstanding student organization, the Associated Students of Civil Engineers. With all graduates who are members of these organizations, please stand. The Doris M. Gilliland Memorial Award for Outstanding Service, John Davey, Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Neighborhood Service Award, Kayla Tomizawa, Electrical Engineering, with minor in music. The Women in Engineering Award, St. Tricia Hsu, Chemical Engineering. Center for Engineering Diversity Service Award, Na Adeimante, Electrical Engineering. The Viterbi Award for Outstanding Achievement by a transfer student, Nicole Aena, Civil and Environmental Engineering. And the Gary Norris Memorial Award, Thomas Pisley in Mechanical Engineering. Please join me in acknowledge, acknowledging the achievements of all these students. Congratulations. Please be seated. In addition, 40 of our graduates have successfully completed the Rush Engineering Undergraduate Honors Program. Will these students please stand to be recognized? 40 of our graduates are members of Tau Beta Pi, the National Engineering Honor Society. Will members of the group please stand to be recognized? The engineering disciplines have national, national honorary societies that recognize academic achievement in their respective major fields of study. Shh. Will members of the following honorary society please stand? Sigma Gamma Tau, Aerospace Engineering. Omega Chi Epsilon, Chemical Engineering. Chi Epsilon, Civil Engineering. Epsilon Pi Epsilon, these are all Greek to me. Computer Science, Eta Kappa Ni, Electrical Engineering, 
Alpha Pi Mu, Industrial and Systems Engineering, Pi Tau Sigma, Mechanical Engineering. Congratulations to all of you. We're very proud of the academic achievements of our students.